welcome to this month is ACP Sunday. It's a new month with a new beginning. We thank God for what he has done in the project so far and uh, our focus is to do the sealing and the closures. And in order to make this happen, I therefore call upon you today as we come to give. As the Lord has blessed you, please give. Please give and refresh the cathedral building project. God bless you. We are finishing. Please be part.
each one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In a special way, I welcome the main celebrant for this service, His Grace, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, the Most Reverend Dr. Samuel Stephen Kazimba. Your Grace, you're very welcome. We also have the Assistant Bishop of the Diocese of Kampala, the Right Reverend Dr. Huntington Mutevi. Very welcome, Bishop. Mama Mile is with us. Welcome, Mama Mile. Uh, together with us is the Diocesan Secretary of the Diocese of Kampala, Canon John Awadi. Thank you so much for joining us. The Archbishop's Chaplain, Reverend Johnson Kasime, is here with us. And we have the Archdeacon of the Southern Archdeaconary, the uh, Venerable Canon Jackson Frederick Valwa. Thank you so much for joining us. All of you, our distinguished guests, you are very welcome. His Grace will be recognizing us at the right time. But we welcome you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning as we worship and celebrate the goodness of the Lord. The choir is going to lead us in a hymn, The Church is One Foundation. <laughs>
place we are gathered together as a family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive his holy word, to bring before him the needs of the world, to ask his grace over, to ask his grace and to bring ourselves before him, to ask his forgiveness of our sins and then seek his grace, that through his son Jesus Christ we may give ourselves to his service. Let us sit on near and just reflect on your individual life, your personal life. Whatever that the Holy Spirit points out in our hearts, let's bring them to the Lord individually. Because the word of the Lord reminds us that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, our God is faithful. He is just. He will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So just a minute of silence to help us reflect on our individual shortfalls. And together jointly as a congregation, we join in the general confession, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our fellow men in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in the days of life to the glory of your name. Amen. As east is far from west, that is how far the Lord puts our sins away when we confess. May the Almighty God, who promised forgiveness to all who repent and turn back to Him, now forgive you, pardon you from all your sins, strengthen you to follow what's good before Him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continue in prayers, we pray the collect of today together. Lord God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that we, our rule and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we may finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this heavenly Father, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to stand and join the choir in a moment of praise and worship. The choir. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Shall we rise up and give a mighty, mighty hand clap of praise and welcome the presence of God, the glory of God, the goodness of God and His faithfulness. Sing out, the Lord is near. Build him a temple of praise, a palace of praise, a throne of thanksgiving. That's what we're going to declare as we praise. Amen.
Zerubbabel, son of Shetil, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Thus says the Lord of hosts, these people say, the time has not yet come to rebuild the Lord's house. Then the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, is it a time for you, yourselves, to live in a paneled houses? While this house lies in ruins, now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider how you have fared. You have sown much 
and harvested little. You eat, but you never had, you, you never have enough. You drink, but you never have your feet. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And you that you that earn wages, earn wages to put them in a bag with holes. That says the Lord of hosts, consider how you have fared. Go up to the hills and bring wood and build the house so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You have looked for much, and lo, it became too little. And when you brought it home, I blew it away. Why, says the Lord of hosts, because my house lies in ruins, while all of you hurry off to your own houses. Therefore, the heavens above you have withheld the dew, and the earth has withheld its produce. And I have called for a drought on the land and the hills on the grain, the new wine, the oil, on what the soil produces, on human beings and animals, and all their labors. Then Zerubbabel, son of Shetel, and Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of the Lord their God, the words of the prophet Haggai as the Lord their God had sent him, and the people feared the Lord. Then Haggai, the messenger of the Lord, spoke to the people with the Lord's message, saying, I am with you, says the Lord. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, son of Shittil, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. And they came and worked on the house of the Lord of hosts, their God, on the 24th day of the month, in the 6th month. This is the word of God. Join me now to welcome His Grace the Archbishop as he comes to speak to us. Let's receive him. Let's receive his grace. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. All Give God a mighty hand clap. God is the Lord. I want to join the provost, the very Reverend Colonel Dr. Rebecca Yevini, to welcome all of you. And now allow me in a special way to welcome our chief guest, the Right Honorable Master Ewa and Mama Rute Tayewa. Let us receive them. Let us receive them and appreciate them. Thank you very, very much for accepting me to be our guest and uh, also a minister in that line to go to the glory. Thank you very much. The chief guest is uh, my um, personal friend. We interact a lot and we appreciate you for what you are doing in Parliament. <laughs> Together on the team, especially for protecting the children, protecting our values. Protecting our nation. We really appreciate you. We appreciate all the members of Parliament and leadership for taking the right path. You know, when you take the wrong path, you attract God's cause. When you choose the right path, you attract God's blessing. So I want to thank God. And thank you for always remembering uh, uh, you have a call. Where you, where you got uh, your wife to go to be the glory. You know, whenever, when you get the right choice, the word wife, W-I-F-E, means uh, when you get the right choice, it means when they invited forever. That's the meaning of life. But when you take a, a, a wrong one, who creates problems for you? The word wife means, what is he invited forever? <laughs> so uh, uh, what, what, the way I'm seeing the, 
the way you're progressing, it means wealth invited forever. Congratulations. Yeah. And allow me to also I welcome our own our Honorable Minister uh, Jim Wenzi and the uh, Mama Kami Susan. Kami Susan Wenzi. You are welcome. Let us welcome you. Thank you for what you are doing, especially daily of security and uh, we are getting a lot of intimidating messages, but we are safe in his name. And I want to welcome Right Honorable uh, Amama Babazi and Mama Kamun uh, Jackie Babazi. Welcome. Receive them, receive them. This is the Prime Minister Emeritus, if that title is there. <laughs> Allow me to welcome uh, our, our own Honorable Minister, David Bahati, who is here with us. He's a member of our congregation. We see with you, we see with you. You know, when you begin with welcoming people, you fall into problems. The next one will prepare himself for, I think, I think I'm the next. Then you skip and go to another one. Let me let you know that each one of you is important before the Lord and the Lord knows you by name. And he has a wonderful time for you. Today is such a great day that God has given us another chance to live so that we serve him. You know, there is no reason why God can spare us if he has no ministry for us. And God has a reason why we are surviving. We are really uh, pressing on. I always tell you, the coffin makers, these coffin makers are believers. They also pray, Lord, the economy is so bad. Would you please answer my prayer and do something? What happens is when God answers that prayer, I am so grateful that uh, all the coffins that we have made last year, since they have begun up to June, my coffin years, we are not there, hallelujah! Yeah. So that is the, uh, that's a powerful reason that you can, you, you, are, you must serve the Lord. There is unfinished business. What is that unfinished business? In our context, finishing the cathedral. Finishing the cathedral. By the way, you should you should call yourself privileged because cathedrals we are built long time ago. They probably never participated. Our parents participated. Our grandparents participated. But you have got now a chance. Your children will get to learn that you were among them who participated in the completion, in the building and completion of All Saints Cathedral, Nakasero, Kampala. Hallelujah. And let me tell you this this is not just a cathedral, it is an icon, icon in Kampala city for worshiping God. That all people who come here in Uganda, they can come here. Like uh, just recently, I hosted the Archbishop of Congo and uh, a number of team. They came here for back benchmarking. I ensured I brought them here. And they said, wow, 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 wow. This is not about uh, just America, it's about the nation. You know, you know, our church called Church of Uganda. So it is very important to have a powerful building here for worshiping God. Not a bar, not a hotel, not a lodge, but a place where the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Master of Masters, is worshiped. The superior being, the one who was, who is, who will be, the Son of God, yesterday, today. And tomorrow, his name is God. He wants to be worshipped in a wonderful place. Hallelujah! And now, listen to this man. He's called Haggai. Haggai was one of the 12 minor prophets whom God called. And you know, because the Jews made wrong choices and they gave priority to their own egos and they were taken as captives in Babylon, 
where they is suffering for some time. But because of the intercessors and those who are always raising supplications to God like David and other, God answered. And now they were released from captivity to come back to Jerusalem. And now God is assigning Haggai a responsibility. Now you must rebuild my temple. Because during that time of captivity, you know, these who went in the bush, and some of us who are here, where there is a war, everything is ruined. And now when you come back, you must go through rehabilitation. You must go through reconciliation, revival, renewal, recommitment. Very important. And now, they came back and Haggai was given an assignment. You must lead into this project of rebuilding the temple. But this is what was happening. Actually, the main message was, uh, if the people would have God at the center of their lives and everything they do, they would realize the future blessings from God. The message. Now, when they came back, the Jews started reconstructing huge houses. And God said, wait a minute. Look at where you sleep. And now my house is left in that sun state. Where are you sleeping? God was not choosing the Jews for sleeping in good houses. He was choosing them for thinking about themselves, but neglected his house. And now he said, that is why when you eat, you never eat enough. That's why when you are getting money, it will be put in, in pockets full of holes because you have forgotten my temper. Actually, I was thinking about this and say, wait a minute, this is the main cathedral in Kampala, the heart of Uganda. And when I compare its state with your houses, your sleep. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, look at your house. <laughs> oh, you see your houses. By the way, I'm so grateful to God for you people. And each time I visit you, I ensure I bless the home I visit. Because when you receive me, I come in the name of the Lord. When you receive me, I say, God bless these people. Bless these people. So I'm so grateful. And now, no one is accused for sleeping in a good house. The challenge is, God has been blessing her. How about his house? How about his house? Actually, most of the houses you have built where you are staying have been started just recently when this cathedral is there. It's not being completed. Somebody, an individual begins a house, completes it, and another one, and a business house, and another commercial place, but his church. When it comes to coming to church, and the, the message is, why do you bring the leftovers? I'm not interested in that. They already said. Now, that's why some people have some issues. And today I'm seeing the, you know, you can be put in a state where God blesses you with all the cows. And he says, because you don't bring them to me, now I'm not, I'll take, I'll not allow it to drink milk. You have cows and milk, but you don't drink milk. The doctor will say, stop immediately. <laughs> <laughs> then you will come and say, ah, but you have all the money to buy uh, beef, what? And the, uh, the doctor will say, stop it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Because you, you have a lot, but you forget me. And now, let me stop you from from eating that. Recently, I was uh, advised not to take sodas. I wanted a lot of Fanta. 
For what reason? Because F A N T A, faithful Anglican never take alcohol. So I take that. They stopped me now, they said, your priest at your age, you better take now water. I said, but I want to say water is good enough, even now. You know, the law of the can decide to remove you from what you wanted more. And you say you can't take it. Well, let me share this with you. God is giving us another choice that we have an opportunity of serving him and ensure in our time this capital is finished and you will say like uh, like uh, bishop Ponte Jaze, i found his first message in kanungu a powerful message i'll never forget he said you serve the lord now and leave a legacy even when you are not there they will know you were there they will know you are there. So now, finish this cathedral. Even when you are not here, they will know you were there. They will know that you were guest to the people this day. <laughs> when you came to finish it. Actually, I will say, in the choir, there was a swan song. There was a swan song. The provost was a swan song. Everybody was, hey, you were there. There was a judge also. They were all there. Praise the Lord. So God has not given us this life just to enjoy, but to enjoy and bless others, but also bless his kingdom. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now listen to this. Point number one. Haggai brought the message and the people obeyed. And they started to contribute. And they finished. They finished. I request you to obey this calling. And, uh, and as you know, my name is called Kazimba, which means a builder. I want to request you that we complete this cathedral during this time, in the name of Jesus. Recently, uh, actually, we, we are uh, visiting uh, Kanungu, where Kanungu Twin. I slept in his house. Very good. I have a room there. Please. <laughs> Uh, whenever anybody is going to see you there, give me a call so that I give you permission. <laughs> <laughs> because he gave me that, that space. Beautiful. We opened the church. What is the name of the village? No, no, we opened the church. Kakuru. Kakureju, we opened the church. It was built by one family. One family. So, we can do something. So let us obey and do God's work. Tell your neighbor, obey and do God's work. Amen. Point number two, we must put God at the center of what we do. Priority. And when we do that, we are going to make a very big gift to the Lord. Because this is his church. Three, we must be reminded that whatever we have belongs to the Lord. It is in Haggai chapter 2 verse 8. Silver and gold belongs to the Lord. Haggai 2 8. Everything we have. Psalms 24. Everything belongs to the Lord. Whatever you have belongs to the Lord. Nobody should boast. He has given us a privilege to serve him. Call it a privilege. Nobody should complain. Someone may say, but look, I contributed a lot when we were beginning. Thank you very much. But didn't you eat food? Have, 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 haven't you been eating all this time? What if the Lord is saying that because you have stopped serving, I you also I'll take out a breath from you. God! God! is blessing us and continue to, to bless him. Another point here, God is calling us to work and serve him. Now, Nehemiah 2, 17, come, let us build. Come, let us build. Let us serve him. Let us offer whatever we have for the cathedral for our lives. And now, I want to invite 
uh, Bishop and James come here because we have to begin. We have, we are in a meeting and discussed as a secretary to Kampala Diocese. We must make a gift to the house. Secretariat, Your Grace, we are going to be giving 50 million Uganda shillings to the That's the Ugandan campaign. 50 million. Thank you so much, Ugandan uh, people. We have a friend. You remember Archbishop Beach came here. Remember him? Yes. Of, uh, American Church in North America, those who are really believing in the world. And he came with a friend. So I sent him a message about this cathedral and he said, I want to contribute. So he's going to send us 35 million. Wow. Uh, I have also uh, Professor Alex Bashasha is not here, but I was reaching out to him and he said he's going to send us five million. <laughs> also, our friend uh, Bire and Grace Virunji from Gorori will be sending us four million. <laughs> Professor Banabas Nawangwe is out, but he sent me a message he uh, will be sending a million. And Professor Augustine Nwagara is uh, will be sending us a million. Well, I, I am born. I was I, uh, born in August. My second son August. My third son the pilot August, and they got a daughter also August. So. Uh, I contributed in the first service a million, and I'm going to contribute for the family two millions. We have started. We have started. Tell your neighbor we have started. No reason to complain. No reason to complain. So may God bless you and keep you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Your Grace. Praise the Lord. Let's give a mighty hand clap to the Lord. Yes, we thank the Lord. We are going to go into a moment of giving our offering, our offering, and then after the offering, we'll do general thanksgiving, and then I'll be inviting our brother, uh, Mr. Collins Babiukamo, to come and continue from where his grace has stopped. So let's. Um, Let's, we're going to use the bags. Let me see the assistant wardens, please. Can you come and stand at the front here with the bags? They are two different colors. One is brown and one is purple. Those are the only bags that we are using for collection. For the SCP contribution, please spare it for the right time. All these bags are going to be used for offertory, whether the SCP is written on it or not. The people that are collecting the money have a sash, like you see these assistant wardens, and then the others have a purple t-shirt. If someone comes without a sash or a purple t-shirt, she's not part of us. So let's collect only these people that will be coming to us to be able to collect the offering, and after that we'll do general thanksgiving and we'll continue with the giving. May God bless us as we open our hearts to give back to the Lord. Thank you so much and may God bless you as you give. Oh, I will see of the good. 
once again come before you with our hearts full of gratitude for the great things you have done for us, Lord. Now these, your children, Lord, standing before you, they look back and remember what you have done, and they say we have to go and give thanks in, the, in front of a big congregation. Now, Father, these are your children. You know each one of them. The reason they are standing here, Lord, you know, and we just want to join them, Lord, because they have decided to put you first, to be their priority. Receive their gifts of thanksgiving and remember them, blessed Father, and bless them, Lord, and those they love. Bless the work of their hearts. May they continue to know that you are their God and you continue to guide and lead them every single day. And when you have done that and prospered them and blessed them, again they will come back and say, Thank you, Lord, for the great things you have done. Bless them, Lord, and continue to guide and fulfill the desires and petitions of their hearts. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, let's come upon each one of you, keep you and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The choir can continue. Let's all arise and receive the offertory. Let's arise and receive the gifts as the choir continues. that have come from the hearts of your children. We worship you, Lord. We ask that, Lord, Father, you receive these gifts. May you glorify your name, sanctify these gifts. We soak them in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And, Lord, these gifts will be used to bring glory and honor to your name. In Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's take our seats. Once again, we want to thank the Lord so much for this time and welcome you. I'm just going to publish the bands of marriage and I'll be recognizing the organizing team uh, that has been worked, that has worked hard on organizing this day today. And then I will invite my sister Vivian Igundra to come and recognize the SCP team. And then after that, this the assistant secretary, Colonel John Awadi, will come to recognize the parishes that are represented here. The bands of marriage between Strati Kalima of Wakiso District and Sharon Apio of Buikwe District. Joachim uh, Kunta Kinte of Kazo District and Rose Sima Akankunda of Umbarara District. Ruyonga Ma Katendo of Kimbura District and Margaret Nayevare of Kashari District. Bosungwe Jonathan of Wakiso District and Jane uh, Dushime of Kisoro District. This is their first time of mention, and if there is anyone with a just cause as to why they should not continue in holy matrimony, please do come and inform us. It's now my joy to introduce the team, uh, the organizing committee, the committee that has been working on uh, organizing this fundraising. I want to ask them to stand, led by the chairman, Mr. Winston Katushabe, Please do stand and the rest of the team. 
I'll be mentioning their names. Mr. Winston Katushabe is the chairman to the team. Uh, Mr. Davis Yabamazima is the vice chair. We have Canon Turame Benson, Mr. Alfred Kabuchu, Mr. Edward Edoma, Mr. Brad Vivirirwe, Mr. Jimmy Mugerwa, Mr. Tumsime Enos, Mr. William Kabuma, Mrs. Donna Masolo, Professor Joan Kaliango, Sir Richard Kejuka, uh, Mrs. Doreen Mokasa, and Mr. David Yukura. That is the team. Thank you so much. Uh, they continue with the team appointed by His Grace. And we pray that the Lord will continue to bless them. Now, uh, to you. Thank you, Provost. Praise God, Church. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. Now, can I request the SCP team come forward? Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank His Grace for re-energizing us by giving us a team to work with us um, as we finish the church. Uh, my vice chairperson is not here for reasons beyond his control. You know him very well. Engineer Mugisa is not here. Um, first, let me start with the Reverend Hillary. He's the chair of the prayer committee and he's the manager of SCP. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan Impuga is the chair for the finance committee. Make sure to see whether we have the money to pay the contractor. I'm sure he's watching what is happening today. Um, Mr. Stuart Mugabe is the chair for the fundraising or funds mobilization committee and he's been working with that team that was appointed by his grace. Uh, our treasurer for the cathedral, Mr. Edson Nevesi Gome, uh, good mobilizer as well. Canon Aristu Yamreva, a member of the committee. Kitty Swarad, the secretary to the, to the council, also a member of the team. Agnes Katwe CJ, uh, assistant treasurer, also a member of the team. Uh, Mrs. Pamela Tumwebaze, also a member of the team. Uh, some three other members. Mike Niitejek, I haven't seen him. He's the chair for communication, he's not here. Agatha and Joel Mbabazi are not here. But this is the team. We want to thank you for the support. We want to thank you for coming this uh, morning. Thank you so much and God bless you. Let me now invite the Diocesan Secretary to come and recognize the parishes that are here present. Uh, Your Grace, our guest of honor and all invited guests, when this date was set for this uh, completion of the new sanctuary, we thought as the diocese we needed to mobilize all the parishes. The reason being that this cathedral is not just for All Saints Parish, it is for the entire diocese. And so, in regard to that, I am going to acknowledge the... I can see a hand right over there. St. Andrew's Church of Uganda, Bukoto. St. Andrew's Church of Uganda, Bukoto. Oh, okay, I see hands on the other side. Or I hear clapping from the other hand. We have St. Paul Church of Uganda, Kiuliriza. St. Paul Church of Uganda, Mulago. St. John's Church of Uganda, Makerere. St. Francis Chapel, Makerere University. I'm not seeing those people. Okay. Church of the Resurrection, Bukolobi, Church of Uganda. St. Luke's Church of Uganda, Mutinda. 
Johnny Crocs Chapel, Chagwe, Uganda Christian University. St. Nicholas Church of Uganda, Kalere, another sub parish in the Islam area. But they are coming. St. Stephen's Church of Uganda, Kisugu. The presence of uh, the Archdeacon and the Vicar is evident here. St. Stephen's Church of Uganda, Chitara Parish. I can see the head of the here. St. Peter's Church of Uganda, Wandegea. St. Luke's Church of Uganda, Tinda. Those are the parishes that uh, responded to our invitation. Thank you very much. Let me now, uh, let's welcome His Grace as he comes to take us through the next uh, part of the fundraising. I want to appreciate God for each one of you. You know when you, you are still able to shake your body a little bit, <laughs> and when you stretch this hand, it's going, then you know God is still giving you an ability to serve. Because one day, you try to stretch this and it doesn't, then you will know you are dead. <laughs> <laughs> So now we can do it in the name of God. So I am happy to see you. And uh, we have our friend, uh, Brother Coins, that will come. You are doing a good job. Thank you very much. I'm sure your mother is proud of you. I can, I, I can, see, I can see her smiling. Can you enjoy it? It's good. It's good. Especially the son and the brother, the daughter and the, the father. So uh, I am aware the guest of honor has a trip to make for official duty. And uh, uh, we are great that uh, I, I, I want to invite him to start us so that uh, he will have the freedom. Uh, he will have the freedom to leave because he's traveling further representing Uganda. And uh, because my ministry is about flexibility, creativity, and simplicity. <laughs> That's how we do it. Nobody just left. This is how we do it. Flexibility is important. Creativity and simplicity. So that life continues. So now allow me to uh, welcome uh, the chief of guest to come. Let us receive him. <laughs> He's at liberty to do whatever he wants. And he, all the people here. Uh, it, it is actually, he's a big person. <laughs> and when we invite big people here, you know they always give up. This is not the first time. You know, they always give up. And they don't give up big monies. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for inviting me. 
I've come with my dear wife, uh, Anita. And we always appreciate opportunities uh, like this one. Where we build for the Lord, where we give back, where we pick from what we need, the God has blessed us with, uh, give back and share with Him. And I also want to appreciate you, your grace, and uh, the church of Uganda for the good role you are playing in supplementing government efforts from very many spheres. Most recently, now the focus has been on uh, wealth creation, ensuring that indeed we have, we create wealth for our people, we have a transformed population. Because poor people die grumbling, and I'm sure you want to leave us to go to them when they are not grumbling. So we really appreciate you for that. But above that also, the role the church is playing in promoting education. Recently, I represented Mama Janet at Mbara High School. And I saw uh, what the OBs under the coordination of Bishop Sheridan have managed to do. We really, really appreciate education is a pillar, it's a game changer. In fact, when I was reading the history of missions here, of missionaries, when they came, they say, build big churches, but build bigger schools. Now, someone says, so there were meaning we consecrate on schools more than churches? I think the most important thing in that message was, if you build the bigger schools, then they will produce products that will build much bigger churches. So, in the question of the foundation of Victor, I want to thank you after the support that you have given to the sector and very many other sectors, and praying for us. You see, for us politicians, we are to divide people. Our role is to divide. If you belong in a group, you come, you mobilize, and uh, you know, then but for you, it's to unite. I think it's at, uh, such a place where we sit comfortably without having any issues of saying, no, you know, I might be seen seated with so and so. Okay? So we appreciate that. And uh, finally, I also want to appreciate you uh, for the support and prayers you've given us in our work. It's not been easy. And we've uh, relied on wise counsel of great men and women. I really want to appreciate right on my mom and mama, uh, who, you know, the work we do is difficult. Then I find it difficult, and the question is difficult. I make a call and immediately the wisdom of the elder it says, you know, this one handled this. And of course, when I'm having my seniors like General Jim, a whole of a heart and thing, Mama Miriam attended. You know, I hope, sorry by sorry, we can make a contribution that is made. But it's not been easy, because sometimes in society, when you're faced with questions that wouldn't require debate, like they say you're entitled to your own opinion, but not own facts. <laughs> because facts are facts. Yeah. Someone meets you and says, no, you're barbaric, you're homophobic, you're... <laughs> because, you, because you have uh, protected nature. I met recently, I was in Peter and uh, I met one person I think he is, uh, who might, might say he's gay. And then, begging you for your bad or homophobic, I said, no. From my little understanding of religion, religion is just, especially Christianity. And by the way, this is the biggest difference between Christianity and Islam. Christianity is based on reality and reason. Now, then, of course, Islam is based on the law, Sharia. Sharia is, that's why you see, even in, uh, in law, I see here, I just see the bond. In Sharia, you get and give proven innocent. <laughs> <laughs> you get the right away. 
Because it's a law, you must follow the law. But in our common law, you are innocent until proven guilty. That's a very big difference. So, I said, religion is based on reason, on reality. We might talk about ideology, we might, you know, and ideology, by the way, one philosopher said, ideology is one more running off from reality. You're <laughs> <laughs> running off from reality. You're, you're trying to look for shortcuts. Then, Jim, I hope we are <laughs> Although I believe in the NRM ideology. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but then I asked him, I said, well, we can discuss the sexual orientation the world, but our argument is simple. You agree to the fact whether you're gay, heterosexual, or what, you are born by a woman. You yourself. And even your child can only be born by a woman. That's the problem with you. I said, no, 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 this is not a problem, it's not a problem. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a reality. I don't know how you can run away from it. Are you born a woman? So now, if you want a man to marry a man, a woman to marry a woman, are you calling for extinction of the wives of human kind, of human of human race? Are you looking at a situation whereby we have reached the level whereby we shall start producing people in laboratory? Okay, because now. We are coming to an era that is very different. And that's why the ranking is now going to be very pretty. We are coming to an era of chat boxes, artificial intelligence. Colin, I think Colin is one day should be given an opportunity. He takes the chat through the dangers of artificial intelligence and technology. Because uh, you, you know I back in said that I worry the time when it comes, when technology will take over the world, that we shall have a world of idiots. <laughs> now, this is the one friend of mine we met in Cameroon, and he's known for keeping long speeches like me. <laughs> <laughs> so he gave a short speech of like one page. I said, who wrote for you that speech? He said, my second. I said, that one was written by Charlie. It was written by because now if I'm coming at those things great, I just go on the computer and speech all things from then give me a speech which is better than I can think of. That's where we are going. So because now we've created robots and systems that are thinking faster than human beings. The research where you would need hundreds of years to go through, the algorithms developed can run through within seconds and give you quick results. But you see, what you must know, a robot will remain a robot. It will never have empathy. Because it can never have feelings. It's a machine. OK? So these are the people we are faced with. We have people now who don't have feelings, who no longer believe in nature, who are machines, moving robots. Those are the folks. And they are controlling the world. But the only issue is whether you're a minority or not. You're on the right side of history if you believe in nature. If you believe a man is born by a woman, and not any other one. Your role is prevailing. Whether you put an environment and you create another terrorism, you will never have feelings. You will only be programmed system moving. I will come to build for the own. I thought there is a cow. Yeah. And uh, you know, for us particularly, we're going to do the cow soon. You know, the right of mama and have 
I've really diluted just by going into counseling. <laughs> we lived in Sweet Potato. <laughs> now they have pounds. <laughs> so I used, when you could give me a cow, I would beat up in terms of kilos, how many kilos I need, so that I know how many people to invite me. <laughs> That's why the Jim said you will never give me a cow until she comes and misses my cow. So I'm waiting for that cow, which I've seen. So that uh, we start with the minority. So you have both seen it. It's a black and white fragrant, looking beautiful, and I need money. Yeah, and we can open it up in a good way. I think it should start at 10 minutes. Oh. Right? So we come to it again, we've come to it. Uh huh. People give me money, I might be joking on 10 million and I don't have it. <laughs> My name was provoke you and then I start to speak. But how do I think Jaguar? Oh no, Bahat has contributed to me. Yes. Very good. Yeah, that's another way of saying it. Jim, can you move on there? I will contribute five million. Ah! The Nazima and my son have contributed five million for me. So I'm now at 17 million. Why don't I have a million? Oh! Are they contributing? Oh! Why yeah, uh, don't I have a mama? And uh, Mama Jacqueline have contributed for me 10 million.
Davis Biawamazima, myself and my family who contributed two million to the car. Honorable Speaker, Stuart Mbanzaka, two million. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, David Kula and family, we shall give two million. Okay. Now I don't know how. Uh... Honorable Speaker, the challenge is sent. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, I am in Brazil. I am in Where are you? Good. Good. Thank you. Now, you know, I'm looking for a way of reaching. Uh... Right, Honorable, there is another one here. I just listen to Honorable. Your friend Joshua came for $100. Ah, where are you? Where are you? Thank you, Joshua. Thank you. That's the one that can show you. Uh, and that's where I live, when I'm in the yoga, I say a way of, uh, of approaching the very different bit. <laughs> Your friend Kit once says something. Yes. Honorable, it's not just my, my honorable, it's my friend and brother. I give you 500,000. Oh. <laughs> yes, Dr. Yoda. Then I got justice in your video, we shall sort of celebrate. <laughs> yeah. For me, I'm alive by the grace of the Lord. And therefore, I will give you two million uh, to the church. <laughs> my wife. Yes. 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 My friend and my senior brother. Right up. Uh, right on the speaker, it's very good to see you, and I cannot fail to support you, but let me put it this way. Uh, me and my family, we have arranged for today to give 10 million shillings. <laughs> that is in addition to our weekly contribution, which I don't know, which I don't know. Thank you. And for you, I will give you 1 million towards that. Senior Justice Irene. When I speak, I say it is in the Hanoia. I still have more money here. Uh huh. I'm saying, George Chuguru, I'm contributing one million. Thank you, thank you. And he has it here, Ash. You see with the money. You see with the money. Someone seems to be one. You see with the money here. Uh, uh, we have got to see you. I will stop and grab your breath so that. Right, honorable. Right, honorable. We took a family of Nachi to a million euros for the Razo Awahiri. Then the church is over to have a million EB. Oh, thank you for coming. Your mom, she has also said she has to support you. Oh, thank you, man. 
Fight for that cow. Uh, my family also gave 10 million in the morning. Thank you. And then uh, your grace will be a point who will remain in charge, continue with the fundraising and the man said go. So I've taken the cow at 80 million. Uh, thanks to your contributions. And me and my dear wife we also want to add a humble contribution of 50 million. I'm certain it's that day of opening our church. I will know. I have already told you, I will make my videos. So. <laughs> Let us appreciate that gift actually. You ensure that your name is recorded today so that you'll be able to eat. That day you're opening the church, this car will be sorted. Thank you so much. I was to take a, a photo with the deputy speaker before he leaves. Your grace. And I want to announce and say that uh, thank you, deputy speaker, 
in total, not just the 50 million that he gave, but the 10 million shillings on top for the cow. So 60 million shillings from Right Honorable Deputy Speaker Thomas Tayewa and the dear one, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our guest of honor, thank you. Thank you so much, Right Honorable. And we pray for a safe journey for you as you travel. Thank you. I will request us, uh, we can take our seats, and I'll request uh, your grace, if you don't mind, uh, rather than getting you up again, and my bishop, I'll request you to just stay with me very, very briefly uh, for this session, and apologies for, for getting you up, but I want to just first of all thank the Right Honorable who has left, and uh, Right Honorable Prime Minister Emeritus, and his dear wife, uh, Canon Jacqueline, and of course, our Honorable uh, General Jim and your dear wife, uh, Canon Susan, and Honorable David Bahati, thank you, thank you for gracing. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into this second phase, but I thought since we have taken a photograph here, there are just a few categories of people uh, who I'd want to call up very quickly. Just mention this, uh, Your Grace, uh, to you, and then I will ask you to uh, probably sit down so we don't keep you standing too long. But I want to just ask our ushers. Our ushers have uh, tags and bands, and they have pledge cards. Uh, please just stand strategically where you are and wave those pledge cards. You tear off the big part, and you remain with it, and you give us the small part. But please include your details, your phone number, your name, your amount. If you want to be anonymous, also go anonymous. So allow me uh, right now, Your Grace, just to mention a few names if you don't mind, and I'll request them to just come uh, for, for this ceremonial handover. I want to say, Your Grace, that the Nakasero home sale, where our provost belongs, this morning put, put their package together and has now reached 15 million Uganda shillings. Let me just clap for Nakasero home sale. I want to ask provost and the home sale, please come. Please come, and I know you have something to hand over. We're going to be extremely quick in this phase. We know that we're not in our new sanctuary. It is a bit hot here. The aeration is not the best, so we shall be sensitive. So Nakasero Home Sale, please come through. I'm going to request Equity Bank. Equity Bank to get ready. They have five million shillings that they want to deliver. Equity Bank. <laughs> Equity Bank, please make your way here. And we're going to be very fast. So this is the mighty Nakasero home sale. You can see it is homogeneous. Uh, we have children, and they're all givers. And Fiona, thank you, and the family. They are adding. Thank you. I will request all envelopes, all pledges will be going to the red tent where SCP is. Please send all our audience, please send all pledges. Thank to you the so much. The, the man is here. Yes. Uh, Lamuel. Lamuel. Lamuel has given me this, uh, yeah, 15 million. Oh. Plus. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nakasero. And uh, are we okay with the photo? Thank you. Let's just clap for them as they head back. Thank you. <laughs> Equity Bank, is you, are you ready? Equity Bank, please come through. Your Grace Equity Bank is here. They have been our partners from the very beginning. And we want to thank you. Thank you very much, Equity Bank. Five million shillings to this cause. I want to call our dear Mother's Union. Where are you? Mother's Union and Father's Union. Are you ready? But Mother's Union first. Ladies and gentlemen, our Mother's Union, so this is Equity Bank, signed, and when the bank signs and uh, the check is delivered, this is cash. This is tangible cash. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth, the ED. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's have a photo opportunity there. As Mother's Union gets ready, I'll also ask Father's Union to get ready. We're going to be a little fast. And, uh, and I think there's a, there's a good trend here. 5, 10, 15. Uh, please, please feel free as you write your pledge cards to get ready. Now the mothers are quite a force. So let us clear the stage for the mothers. I grew up under their hands. I tremble when I see them. So please clap for Mother's Union. Thank you, Ikutiba. Ladies and gentlemen, Mother's Union. Thank you, mothers. I know fathers are also getting ready. Thank you so much. So, Your Grace, this is uh, not the full pledge. This is what they have now, but they have gone all the way to 14 as their pledge. They are pledging to go to 14 million. Thank you, Mother's Union. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I want to also call... Thank you, my dear mothers. I want to call the fathers. I think if you say mothers without saying fathers, it doesn't look complete. Where are our fathers? Our fathers are here. I know you are implied in the mothers, but please come. <laughs> fathers Union is here. Fathers Union is working towards 10 million by the end of today. They now have 8.2 ready, 9.6 already, 9.6. Your Grace, they are getting 10 by the end of this service, but I think that number is going up. That number is going up. Fathers, where are you? I think we should stay. 10. 10 already. Uh, but 10 for now. I am told it's 10 for now. That number is going up. Thank you. Let's have a photo. I want to ask the... Thank you very much, our dear fathers. Now, pledge cards are going out. Please, uh, wardens, are the pledge cards going out? We're going to do this very fast. Now, first of all, as even Edson goes back, I, I hope you know that the cow that was given was by our brother Edson here. Oh. Just get me out of here one more time. I, and I am told that cow is a Frisian. It was born by a Nalongo. It is five months pregnant, uh, so it is a serious. Anybody who gets it has got two in one. So Edson, God bless you. Where is your dear wife? Where is the Vesigome family? Are you here? Edson, uh, are they near here? Yes. Okay, they are coming. They are coming. I'm also going to ask the Gundura family to also get nearer because chairperson, Vivian, you have led by example. And I will announce this right now as the pledges are going out. I am looking forward to the pledges coming in. All pledges are going to the tent, the red tent, our audience. So all pledges are going to the red tent right there. All cards, wardens, please. All pledges are going to the red tent. I will receive a list. Edson and your dear wife, thank you and God bless you. The one cow, the seed you have sown, has brought us more than a hundred million. So 80 million plus, the speakers. All money goes to the tent. All money, you see the red tent I'm pointing to. All pledges, all cash. We have a secretariat there. I'll receive a list. And we're going to move a little quickly. Your Grace, allow me to ask the Gundra family to just come. And uh, thereafter, I'll ask uh, my elder Enos to see to also come for a photo. Uh, they have uh, number one, the Gundura family. Mr. Igundura, your dear wife is looking for you. <laughs> so please, please come. And we know you have allowed her to serve in front here, but if you can make your way. Uh, in the meantime, can I ask my elder Enos to also come? Please come. He gave us 10 million shillings, Your Grace. Brother <laughs> Agenos, thank you. I will request a photo uh, with you. 
We're still looking for Mr. Igundura. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we, I think Vivian will, uh, will represent. Now, okay. All right. I, I also want to just, uh, I, I want to ask, also want to ask uh, Robert and Donna Masoro and the family, please come. 10 million shillings, please come, come. 10 million shillings. Okay, thank you, Rob Masolo. Then we also have St. Stephen's Kisuku, 10 million. Thank you, thank you. Receive that. <laughs> then I just want to call Winston. Why don't you come? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, our SCP team, yes, thank you. The money man is here. Thank you, Donna and the Masolo team. Let me just ask maybe just two other families to come quickly, and then we shall, uh, we shall switch. Thank you. Kisuku, 10 million. I know how close these are. Bishop Huntington, I want to have a Your Grace, this is uh, Kisuku. And I also want to call Winston Kashabe and his family. Winston Kashabe and your family, please come. I'll be switching gears to call General Jim shortly. But uh, Winston, Kashabe and your family also, please come. Winston and his family have given us 10 million shillings. 10 million shillings. 10 million shillings. Thank you. I also want to call the Christian Women Fellowship. Where are you? Christian Women's Fellowship. Christian women have given us five million Uganda shillings. I want you to come and then we switch gears a little bit. Thank you. Um, Winston and your family. Thank you. Oh, what's Winston Kapshabe? And then Christian women. You can first step aside for the photo while well, Winston. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Winston, the chairman of the fundraising. Let's call the Christian women at this point. I believe the pledge cards are being filled. I will be back to announce those. Allow me to take a, a little break as we go to one last auction. And I'll be requesting our elder and statesman. Thank you, Christian women. God bless you. Uh, Your Grace and Bishop, I will request you take a little break and have some mineral water before I call you back. <laughs> thank you. Let's just clap for Archbishop. And uh, Bishop, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I request your patience as we get into just two more sections of this fundraiser. And we shall be reading out all these pledges systematically. I have a list of pledges. But before I do that, allow me to take this opportunity. Allow me to take this opportunity to request my elder, General Jim. Mwezi, please clap for him. He may have his first announcement, but he may also want to carry on with a very, very special auction. General. Also, what should I do first? <laughs> Option first. Yeah. Okay, let us option first. Yeah? Okay. Okay, wow. You should remove this so that we see it. I know. His grace, the Archbishop, is a very handsome man. But the photograph has also made him even more handsome. So, I am blessed as usual. 
be the one to auction the portrait of his grace yet to be shown. And uh, I know you love him, all of you, and we are going to show that love. according to how much we shall contribute. And I'm going to start with five million. Oh. Yes. So show it around. Even show his breath. Yes. <laughs> he's not surprised that he's so handsome. Okay. So, please, we don't want to take a long time. We came here to build our church and finish it. I was arguing that uh, really we shouldn't have auction because we have money and we came to give it to the Lord. So let us do this one. This is the last item to, to, to auction. So I have put on five million. Ah, what are you David Bahati has added there five million. My boss from Syria, right on the level, five million, very good. Uh, Susan, separately, has added there three million, but we are still one. Uh -huh. As canon of the church. You know, I always introduce myself as the husband of Canon. <laughs> yes. Okay. Susan, three million. Oh, my my brother Honorable Eliot, I know where he is. I was uh, forgiving him, but he has given still one million. Thank you very much. My brother and senior colleague in the profession, Jesus, to see me, I know he can't keep quiet. So I'm on the two million. two million. Thank you very much. You know, I, I, I was born in my, in my canon friend. You know, I come from Kanun also. So you can't keep quiet. One million. One million. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, how many are those? How, how many million? So how much? Uh -huh. 22 million. Eh? 22 million. 22 million. Yes, yes, uh, my sister. 500,000. Very good. 22 million 500. Alfred, you are. I know you can't keep quiet when I'm on the spot. One million, thank you very much. 23 million 500. Yes, OG, my OG Namara, this is a Kaka. One million. 24.5. Okay? Ah, she's adding on 1 million. 5 million. Point 0.5. Yes. Yes, yes, my, my brother. Yes, yes. 1 million. 26 million. Point 0.5. Very good. We are not doing party. Yes. We can easily make it 30, I think. Yes, Masolo. Donna. Donna. Yes, yes, yes. My sister, yes, yes. You add me a million. Twenty seven point five million. Good. Twenty five twenty seven point five million. This one. You know we are struggling together. One million whiskers got shot. Twenty-eight point five. 
which I thought was for both of us, <laughs> but now which I think I can claim alone. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, how much? Ten plus five plus one and a half, sixteen. And I came with a pledge for my family of oh, another ten. Wow. So that makes it how much? 26.5. Um, I have to work hard to raise that. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that uh, today's get together is a celebration of a shared commitment and faith. It is an opportunity to come together, united in our love for God and our desire to make a positive difference in the world. I'm filled with hope and confidence that with your support, our church will continue to be a shining light in our community, spreading love, compassion, and the message of God's grace. Thank you once again for being here today, all of you, for your unwavering support and for your dedication to our church. This church is going to be um, a point that will be the reflection of what we are. Let us all support. First of all, thank those who have contributed. I have contributed previously, of course, to this church up to where it is, it is almost finished. What remains is only three billion. And I support the call by the great our leader, his grace, the Archbishop, that we raise this three billion today. And that's why from me alone, a retired one. We have together with my retired wife. <laughs> Although she's active in the field, we have raised uh, that 26.5 um, which is not little money. But in order to encourage all of you to really give everything possible. Don't starve yourselves, but give whatever you can to make sure that today we will raise that three billion. I will add three and a half million. And uh, I hope that leads the way, the spirit to give. Give, give, and work for it, even if you don't have it. But let us raise three billion today. I am very confident that it will be raised. And I am sorry I can't stay with you for too long because uh, all of you, some of you know why. But I am going away confident that today the three billion will be raised. Thank you very much. For Thank you very, very much. Our Honorable Prime Minister Emeritus and your dear wife, thank you for that 30 million. Uh, together, let's just give another big hand clap. Thank you so much. And thank you for the reminder. This is not just about building. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes, I just wanted uh, to round up mine, mine and, uh, and the Cardinal Susan. We contributed 30, then five for the cow, then five for the poultry, then Canon Susan, Susan added there 1.5, that is 41.5, which I will add there 0.5 to make it 42. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank your grace, uh, Jim has allowed me. It's a, it's a time of round the walk. Yeah. It's a time of round the walk. The right honorable contributed 50 million. Jim, 40, 42 million. Uh, the former prime minister, 30 million. So I had reached 17 because of protocol. I'm careful, careful about protocol. <laughs> I round up to 20 million. <laughs> Now, thank you so much, National Prime Minister Emeritus. Thank you. Uh, yes, the dream and the dear wife. Why not? Honorable Bahati, thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be reading out a few key pledges right now that have come in, and I want to thank you. I want to announce, Your Grace, that St. Luke's Chapel in Tinder has given us 5 million Uganda shillings. They are building their cathedral. St. Luke's, 5 million. Now, Your Grace Archbishop, there are some people who can't see you very well in those tents. Are you okay to just get nearer and wave, and, and just wave to them? They have been saying they can't seem to, to feel you <laughs> there. So just, just a little presence. And I thank the people in the tents. We have seen your pledge cards, they are coming in. So, Your Grace. Uh, actually, I want to appreciate uh, our Honorable Ministers uh, for the big gift, but the love behind the gifts. Thank you so, so much, and God bless you. So, so much. Actually, the reason why I'm here so that it is so clear to everybody we need to complete that church. <laughs> that because I can't see, you can't see me. That's why you have to complete it. <laughs> so, so now, when I move nearer, they will say, I think he could even another day will do it. <laughs> and others there, then I have to go the other side. Yeah. But uh, all the same, I'll, I'll come and greet you. But uh, the best way, those who, uh, who have made their gifts, uh, you remove forward and family free photo so that you, you take it home. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Jim. Thank you, Honorable Jim, and your dear wife. Honorable Bahati, thank you. God bless you. I think since the, His Grace has given us a moment here, let me just announce, and by the way, we have the Luzilla Church of Uganda has given us a table, a wonderful coffee table here. St. John's. St. John's Luzilla. Then we have at the prisons. Look at this very farm wood. And uh, if I get somebody to give me two million, you should be able to pick that and take that. Two million shillings and above, I'm told. So I'll get this right now, but I don't want to keep my, my elders here standing. Let me just announce a number of uh, things that have come through. Rogers Shinobe, I want to thank you. 200,000 shillings has come through. And you can actually come, come for a photo. The Archbishop wants to take a photo with you. Please come, if I read your name, feel free to come if you're nearby. Noella Feta is a child. She gave 10,000. Please come. Tessine Denise Sonia, 200,000. Please come. It will be fairly quick, but bear with me. Julius Ongera, 10,000. Thank you. Then we had uh, Wilson. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Wilson and Canon Reverend Dr. Rebecca Yagenye, 2 million. This is besides the home sale. Thank you very much, our dear provost. We appreciate and pass our love to uh, Wilson. Uh, let me also go to Godfrey Agaba. One million. Are you nearby? Godfrey Agaba. 
If I read your name, please come. Come and take a photo. Come and take a photo, Godfrey Agaba. Uh, Engineer John and Ada Chumanzi. Two million. Engineer John, are you here? If you could come. We have an anonymous of 40,000. God bless you wherever you are. Frida, Frida and Tagari, 500,000. Frida and Tagari, please come. Please come. Frida, in a special way, please come. 500,000. And uh, then, then I think we saw Father Zillion. I think, uh, okay. We have Davis and Peace, the Amazon, two million. Davis was here, and your dear wife, please come, two million. God bless you. Reverend Canon Elisa and Mama Vera St. Ongo, our very own, 500,000. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Richard Navona, 100,000, please come. Wow, Saint Kakumba Chapo, Chambogo, one million. Wow, these chapels are building. Auntie Vera, yes, please come. All right. I can see this is also here. So Richard Navona, 100,000, Kakumba, one million. Saint Stephen's Kisubu, again, 600,000. And uh, Saint Nicholas Kalerwe, a hundred thousand. God bless you, care of Matana Pagoda. Please feel free to hear. Mr. Robinson and the Reverend Captain Florence to Message, one million Uganda shillings. Our very own Reverend Captain. Reverend Captain, yes, thank you. Uh, Lieutenant Enoch Benomcha, fifty thousand, please come. Canon and Mrs. Charles. To Kachungrua, our elders, one million. Please come. Please come. Thank you. Chanja Home Sale, hallelujah. 500,000 Chanja, who you are. Chanja Home Sale, 500,000. Oh, you are here. So, Richard, we will join you. 500,000. Boni Sechi Inde, Sechi Indi. One million, Boni. Thank you, Boni. Please come. Boni, one million. Patrick and Hilda Abalo, a hundred thousand. Please come. Then there's Coach Adinitwe Bilunji. Coach Adinitwe, a hundred thousand. Coach Adinitwe, are you here? Very famous for the physical coaching. Please come. And I think it's uh, St. Peter's one day gear sale. Care of Mujisi Jason and Mugume Edson. A hundred thousand. One day home sale. Thank you. Uh, we have Richard Kanyesiji and family. Fifty thousand. God bless you. Thank you. Please, please come for a photo. Thank you. Christian Mugara Mafiji. Fifty thousand. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Nitejeka. I think they couldn't make it here, but one million shillings. Michael and Majorif. One million shillings. Already paid. Uh, we have the Isingoma Paul and family, Isingoma Paul and family, 500, or rather 300,000, thank you. Kaka -ka -ka and Irene Matama, uh, 500,000, thank you. I think you are here, please, please come, please come. Dr. Bernard Tusime, uh, another 2 million, can we just clap to that right now, in cash, 2 million in cash. Uh, Alfred Kamucho, my elder brother, please come. Five million. Five million and the family, please. Mr. Alfred and Barbara, corrected. Alfred and Barbara Kamucho, five million, please, please come. She's coming? Yeah, we'll wait. Uh, Mr. Jim Mgerwa, five million. Please come with your dear wife. Juliana, please join your husband. Five million. You can take the, sh the photo shot as Barbara comes. It's more than that. We love more. We love more. Thank you. So Jimmy and Juliana Mgerwa, ten million. We shall update the record. Ten million. Thank you. Uh, and uh, we'll be having Alfred and Barbara next. Honorable Yota, three million. Let's just love to. Honorable Dr. Yoga and your dear wife, thank you. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, thank you. 
and uh, thank you, Alfred and Barbara. Yes, and uh, Jimmy has uh, brought wonderful news from the Taganda, Ephraim, and his family. They're usually at 8 o'clock. They have given us 5 million shillings. 5 million shillings. Ephraim, Taganda. If you're here, please do. If they're not here, uh, please pass on the message. Justice Chidabwili, please come. 10 million shillings. Thank you so much. You can come with any escorts that you have, any backup. I can see you have some backup there. Honorable Tayewa was uh, already here. Let me call for Lutano Fred. I want to ask us to be a little quicker, hard on the speed, but we want to be out of this tent. We soon want to build and go to a more aerated cathedral. So bear with me. Lutano Fred, 50,000. Mukume, Abel, and Edgar, 2 million. Where are you? Please come. Dr. and Mrs. Winnie and Christine, 500,000. Caroline, Aguti, and family, 2 million. Dennis Ndongonjereye, Ndongonjereye, please pardon me, one million shillings. Dennis, if you're here, please pardon my pronunciation. One million shillings, please come. Thank you so much. Kagarra Dickens, Kagarra Dickens, 1.2 million, please come. Thank you, 1.2 million. DFCU Bank, if you're here, our MD, the new MD, and I believe you're here, you gave us 10 million shillings. Please come. Built by the MD, please come. DFCU Bank, thank you for the partnership. Uh, we have uh, Kagadra Dickens, 1.2. Ah, yeah, thank you. We had Mugisa Nicholas. Yes, DFCU right there. Yes. Is the... CEO here. There's a director here. He's coming. He's also coming. Thank you. Thank you, Professor J. Director is coming? Yes, Jimmy. Oh, okay. We might as well then. Jimmy, do you want to come and, uh, as chair? Let me call the chair then to come. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy Bugerwa, the chair. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, all right, let me call very quickly uh, Canon Dr. Apollo, Muzari and family, five million. Canon Dr. Apollo, please come. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Renyonjera and family, Renyonjera and family, 2.5 million, please come. Please come, thank you. Dr. Apollo, please, please, thank you. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Amanya Leonard. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Amanya Leonard, 300,000, please come. Phoebe Nachinuga, 200,000. 200,000. Mr. and Mrs. Biryom Misho, 500,000. Mugala Stephanie, 20,000. Thank you, Stephanie. Namanya Media, please come, 30,000. Joyce Chika, 150,000. Simon Ku, 10,000. God bless you. Feel free to come. Please come. This is your day. Engineer and Mrs. Dennis Magesi, 1 million shillings. Please come. Akaya, Akayaru Sandra, Brenda, 5,000. God bless you so much. Anonymous, 3,000. God bless you. I'm going to have a basket here also for those of you that want to come. This is to the glory of God. Every amount matters at this time. We need to finish. And uh, we have Blandina, Shakira, Auntie Blandina, 3 million. Auntie Blandina, God bless you. 3 million. Uh, Elias Tweriche. Elias, 100,000, thank you. We have Anonymous, 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 50,000 each. Thank you. Patience Jafu, Mama Patience, has given us 50,000. Mama Patience. Uh, Walter, Umika, Upoki, 
250,000. Walter, please come. As then we Flavia, and have we 100,000. Lisa, Evelyn, to say 100,000. Another anonymous, 20,000. God bless you. Jackie Kamara, 100,000 shillings. We have uh, Dr. Nathan Yanavanji. Uncle Nathan, please come. 500,000, please come for Uncle Nathan. Canon Twine Frank, 5 million. Canon Twine Frank, please come. 5 million. Canon Twine Frank, 5 million. I didn't need to Mwanachi, 3 million. I didn't need to Mwanachi, I hope I got that right. 3 million in cash. I didn't need to please come. Bengana and family, um, 1 million. 1 million. Thank you. Come here with Jonan, 10,000. Nikoma Godwin, 20,000. Osinjiri, your family, 100,000. Robert Wasike, 20,000. Sydney and Precious Tidiewa, wonderful, 500,000 shillings. If you're here, please come. Sydney and Precious. Kesi Medeni, Sonia, 70,000. <laughs> Yes, please come, come through. <laughs> Pardon the speed, but please come. Casey Medeni Sonia, Queen Angel Fred, 50,000. Nasu Na Charlotte, and Katsine uh, Viola, 1 million shillings. Wow. Charlotte, please come. Anonymous is 50,000. Mujisha Sharon, 10,000. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Nalongo, uh, Nambuga, Scovia, 100,000. The Achilus, 50,000. Asamo Grau, or Grace. Asamo Grace, 2 million. Grace, wherever you are, please come. Esther Susan Najuna, 10,000. God bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Eria Kim Atumanya, 110,000. Mutabazi family, 300,000 by mobile money already. God bless you. Alexander Najuna, 50,000. God bless you. Alice Nalwega, one of our audience, 100,000. Alice. And Alice, thank you. We have a wonderful young man here, seven years old. He's called Kenan Pomuza. And he has given us 10,000. Kenan, where are you? Can you go? Wait. Your Grace is a wonderful giver here called Kenan. Can we clap for Kenan? Kenan, right in the middle there. You stand and they take a photo. You're a big man. This is a prophetic photo for you. Okay. Wonderful. Kenan, God bless you. I want to call our media evangelists. These are the, 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 the media teams that are here, the journalists. Your Grace, these journalists are working with us to expand the kingdom. They have put together very quickly 200,000 among themselves right now. Our journalists, can you come? Thank you, our media evangelists. They are doing a great job spreading the gospel through printed and media. And their money is in cash, right here, cash. Justice, Joshua Shidawiri, I'm reading you again, for 10 million. That was great, okay. Irene, oh, Justice, apologies, you should have written that. But Justice Irene, Muria Gonja, 2 million, Justice Irene. You're welcome, and thank you for the great work and the service to the country. 2 million, thank you. Mrs. Jole, Naburi, and family, 150,000. Auntie Jolie, where are you? And your family, Mr. and Mrs. Charles and Sheila Ramash Ramashonji. 500,000, God bless you. Or see your family, 100,000. Hallelujah. Dr. Jolie Zariwende, 500,000, the full check signed and delivered. Engineer and Mrs. Murenjesi, 1 million. 
Hallelujah. Please come. Pardon the speed. Auntie Jolie, please come through. Um, Dr. Jolie Zariwende, I read that. Okay. So, when the Robin and the family, when the Robin and the family have delivered a check of one million, when the Robin, thank you, one million shillings check delivered, thank you. <laughs> Dr. Jole Zariwende, right here. It is not 500,000, but 5 million. And the check has been delivered. Apologies for that. Thank you, thank you. And Mr. Wenge, you go next for the photo. 1 million, thank you. Uh, engineer, I think I read that. Uh, St. Stephen's Chitara Church of Uganda, a check of 2 million. Chitara, it's now 3 million already. Are you here, Chitara? If you're here, here, yeah, please. Come on, you can represent. Come, come and represent. Three, three million right now. A check. Come on, please pass on our love. Jedida Samuel, three years old. She's three years old. Ten thousand. Saint Stephen's Kisuku. I think I read that already. But care of justice, Doctor Anon Andrew Basheja. Ten million from Saint Stephen's Kisuku. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Asamo Helen Grace, 2 million. Had I read this earlier? If not, please come. Asamo Helen Grace, 2 million. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Francis Mutawazi. Then we have, and the list is growing, but we're almost there. Nasuna Catherine, 5 million Uganda shillings. Catherine, please come. Tom Segalama. Francis Mutawasi, thank you. Thank you, represented by, by the wife. Five million. Five million shillings. Mrs. Mutawazi, thank you, Pastor Nawalaf, also. Now, there's a vape for UAK-025F. UAK-025F. Some of you have many cars, you don't even know your number plates, but if you remember this, UAK-025F, you are blocking some people, and please quickly go to your car. There's an issue with the car, so please get to the car quickly. Um, Nasuna Catherine, I'm going to be quick. Five million, thank you, I think you're here. 150,000. Also, but Nasuna Catherine, 5 million. Tom Segalama, I think I read that, 500,000. Kesi Medeni Sonia, 200,000. We have Bida Hida winning, 1 million. God is building. God is building this, this church. Mr. and Mrs. Omusuku Joel and Isabella, 500,000. Hallelujah. Kugosa Edwin, Kugosa Edwin, 1 million. Hallelujah. Edwin, where are you? Goza. Mr. and Mrs. Omo Omondo, Omodo, Omodo, pardon me, 200,000. Dina Agaba, 500,000. God bless you. Uh, Namarome, 100,000. Perez and Harriet Katunje, 2 million. God bless you. Come, please come. David and Fiona Kura, 2 million. Jennifer Mujuche, another two million. Is that God faithful? He's faithful. Alfred and Barbara Kabuchu, five million. I think they are here already. God bless you. David and Fiona, I think I mentioned those also. Carl Kabuchu, part of the Kabuchu family, a hundred thousand. Pass on our love to Carl. Manzi Kabuchu also, a hundred thousand. Chichoncho Kabuchu, another a hundred thousand. God bless you, the Kabuchu family. Uh, Amani. Amani Kabuchu also, 100,000. Wow, God bless you. Honorable Okin uh, and the family, 2 million. Okin, okay, please come, 2 million. Stella, 
What year? 300,000. Hallelujah. Amos and Grace Mwesuje, our very own CEO of Family TV, media evangelist. Please come. Amos and Grace Mwesuje, 2 million. Is your dear wife here? Mr. and Mrs. Rukera, 500,000. Thank you. Another anonymous individual, 100,000. God bless you. We have Mr. and Mrs. Tishekwa. Tishekwa, 500,000. God bless you. Please come. Jonathan and Jesse Mugasha, 20,000. Rukundo Allen and family. Owembabasi, 2 million. Allen, Rukundo, 2 million. Please come. Kahande, Queen, and Nita, 50,000. Mr. and Mrs. Moses Masiko, 200 US dollars. This is more than 700,000. Thank you. Dr. Karatu, Karatunga, David. I hope I got that right. Pardon me. But a uh, 1,000 Kenya shillings. Thank you. And I hope you got that right. Beth Oika, 22,000. Elena Shakira, Auntie Elena, 100,000, Auntie Elena. If you're here, please come. Pamela Baguma, 100,000. Uh, Kwesiga, Kwesiga, Anita, 250,000. God bless you. Kamsi Mean, 50,000. Twesiji Henry, 50,000. Stephen and Agnes Ojambo, 200,000. Hallelujah. Hudson Omoko and family. Hudson, Omoko, and family, 100,000. Auntie Elena, thank you. God bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Hezron Kataza, 500,000. Hezron, 500,000. God bless you. Oromokan, Benjamin, and uh, Ochan. Oromochan. Oromchan. Apologies. Oromchan, Benjamin, and family, 100,000. Oromchan. Proskovia Natkunda, 250,000. And Kasata Daniel, 50,000. Jafu, wow, these are the Jafu prophetic children. Uh, Yamikani Jafu, 50,000. Wow. And Mwai Jafu, 50,000. 